So, I wanted to get to talk to you guys today about just why exactly... Hold on, give me a second, I'm crossing the log here. So, before we get into everything tonight, we have to do a little Remington montage, because he's only the cutest puppy in the whole world. Cue it. <laughs> subscribe to my daddy's channel just why exactly I started making YouTube videos and why I created this channel and I also wanted to let you guys know why I didn't start this channel and we're gonna start with that first I didn't start this channel in hopes of becoming rich and famous and everything else I also didn't start this channel to make money or anything like that we're, we're becoming a sponsor whore, as I like to call it. I just have sponsored videos all the time. One of my biggest pet peeves in the outdoor industry is when somebody says, there's no way I could have ever have done this without these binoculars. I could have never shot this buck without these binoculars. Well, the reality is when you're hunting on a special farm with guaranteed big bucks on it your chances of getting that buck are already higher than what mine are and I just really hate hearing people say that so on this channel I try to keep all of my sponsored videos to a minimum I've literally only done two and it was through the same company they were nice enough to send me a product to review I'm gonna review it I mean I made no money off of it either way, other than the fact I got to keep the products. Jumps into the next thing on this channel, whether I'm doing a paid promotion or a paid review, I am always going to say if I don't like something. Ooh, that was deep. I will always say that. I will always say, hey, this product did this. I mean, I'm not going to go and bash a company, but if a product fails, or if there's a certain feature on the product that I don't like, I will let you guys know. So, now that we have pretty much most of the reasons why I didn't start this channel, which I wanted you guys to know that, uh, in an effort to connect with you guys more, I want to know, I want you guys to know where I'm coming from when I do these things, when I make these videos, why I'm making these videos, all that kind of good stuff. I think it's important that you guys know why I do this. Reason number one why I decided to start making YouTube videos is these are my memories. The videos that you guys watch, the videos I upload, the videos I make, these are my memories that nobody will ever be able to take away from me unless they get deleted off YouTube because I haven't, I didn't save them all. I wasn't smart when I first started. Some of them never got saved onto a hard drive. These are my memories. I just so happen to share them with you guys. I share them with the whole world. And uh, it's a free way to store my memories one day when I'm older and oh, when I can't do this stuff anymore, which that day will come eventually, I'm going to be able to hopefully go back and look at all these and be like, wow, I can't believe I did that. Or look at this crazy day I had when I was 20 fishing. That's reason number one why I do this because it's a free way for me to save my memories. Reason number two why I make YouTube videos is I genuinely enjoy doing this. I love cameras, I love filming, I love taking pictures, I love all doing all of this. It's hard work, but like I have already said, these are things that are going to hopefully last forever. Reason, ooh, big bug. Reason number three why I started making YouTube videos is because I am sick and tired of watching hunting and fishing shows online. These guys aren't real outdoorsmen, not in my opinion. These guys literally only do this. I work 40 plus hours a week and I do this. This to me is like reality 
hunting and fishing. This is what you guys probably deal with too. Trespassers, public land, fishing when you can, hunting when you can, trying to balance it all with family time. I wanted to be able to show everyone. I wanted to show the world that. I wanted to show what it's really like to be an outdoorsman. Not one of these guys who just goes from farm to farm killing. Like that's pretty much all they do is go from farm to farm killing animals. Finally, the fourth and final reason why, why I started doing YouTube is because back in 2016, right before I created this channel, uh, it was summertime and I was severely depressed. I didn't want to leave the house. I didn't want to do anything. I went to work and I would come home. There was no hanging out with friends. There was no fishing. Hunting wasn't in season. And uh, I, I pretty much hit rock bottom. I started watching a lot of YouTube videos because I didn't have anything better to do with my life. I see these guys out there filming their fishing trips and just simple, hey, I'm going fishing today. You know, local pond. Right away I thought, I could do that. Maybe not to their caliber. Maybe not on as big of a stage as what they do it, but I could film myself fishing. It can't be that hard. And I got it in my mind that I was going to use YouTube to cure my depression. So what I started to do was go out, film a video, and I would make myself get out of the house. I would make myself want to go fishing because I wanted to make a YouTube video. I couldn't make YouTube videos hunting or fishing related at home. It's just, it, obviously it's not possible. So I started making YouTube videos, really, really bad ones, worse than what they are now, which yes, that was possible. And I started to feel better because I was making myself get out of the house. I wasn't letting myself stay in the house and be a bum. And then I started to gain some subscribers. I was like, oh man, you know, Random people in the world want to see what I make. And that made me feel even better. So then I kept going into the hunting season. And once a week, I would upload a video of whatever happened during the week, good and bad. I really started to see, like, very positive growth. In a way, I'm using... Oh, God, a big old horse fly. In a way, I'm using you guys to try and cure my depression. Now I'm relying on you guys to cure my depression because if I don't make a video, I feel guilty not getting out there and being a bum and sitting at home all week after I'm done work. So in a way, I wouldn't have been able to cure my depression if it wasn't for you guys hitting that subscribe. That's how I got through my depression was because of each and every one of you clicking the view, watching my videos, leaving comments, it helped me so, so much. That is 100% the reason why I started making... <laughs> it's a spider web. Why I started to make YouTube videos and why I kept doing YouTube videos was because of you guys. And I want to take this to the next level and I want to be able to do this full time. Not because of the money. <laughs> God, bucks. But because... It makes me feel so, so good when you guys leave comments and when you essentially make me a better person. For lack of a better term, that's what you guys end up doing. I love you guys. I'm so thankful for you all. And I hope we can keep doing this, keep getting better, take this to the next level. Let's hit a thousand subs. Let's hit a hundred thousand subs. Let's hit a million subs. I can't do this without you guys. Each and every video I make and you guys watch, I want to say thank you. I'm going to sign off for now. Thank you guys. I'll see you in the next video. If you haven't already, leave a like, smash the subscribe button. See you guys next time.